All right, Amanda, and again, this is a special edition of Alabama Live for our telethon. The phone lines are open. That number to call is on your screen right there. Sally mentioned this earlier and our general manager. What if you don't know anything about the Boys and Girls Club of the River Region? Well, we want you to donate, but we are also here to educate. You've probably heard some stories that we aired just now in our first half hour and early this morning. And you're going to learn more about this great organization throughout the day. We want you to know where your money is going exactly. Joining us is Stanley Presley, the site director at the Mount Megs Boys and Girls Club. Thank you so much for joining us. For people out there who are going, what do they do at the Boys and Girls Clubs? What do you do day in and day out? Uh, day in and day out, we're all about academic success. Uh, we're getting our clubs, getting our kids into the club, making sure that we're giving them a safe place and making sure that we're uh, making them great citizens of Montgomery and other surrounding places. Stanley, you're in the summer months now, but the first day of school is creeping up. What does that transition look like for you from summer to the school year? Uh, we go from that morning shift to that evening shift, and basically we just uh, switch to a, uh, another phase. And basically we go and still, we're still helping with academics. We're still uh, playing with uh, basketball. We're pl still playing football, but we make sure that we're focused on uh, academic success. And, and the more that people give today, the more uh, vans and the more kids we can help. We hear you say we're playing basketball, but you're not just playing. You're building relationships. You're building character. Yes, we're treating those kids like their own, our own. And, you know, those are lifetime uh, relationships that we develop uh, while they come into the club. And you mentioned those vans. You are raising money for transportation because you all go to those schools every day after school. You pick up those kids and you make sure that they get to a safe place every afternoon. Uh, yes, we have relationships with the principals, have a relationship with the parents as well as uh, the kids. So everything works together so that we can all uh, help these kids. Every kid that walks through that door, we're helping them the best that we can. If you weren't able to provide that transportation to get the children to you, most wouldn't be able to come. Yes, that'll uh, mess up a lot of opportunity for a lot of kids and they won't be able to come and walk through those doors and they wouldn't be able to sometimes get that extra help that they need with academics. Stanley, you're called the Boys and Girls Club, but you reach teens, kids heading into young adulthood every day as well. Yes, we, I mean all types and then it's amazing how a lot of times they reach back as they get older and a lot of times their kids begin to come to the Boys and Girls Club. Tell us some of your success stories, the difference you've seen in children from the moment they walked into your door, then after weeks or months in your program, what change do you see in them? Well, I didn't see some kids who are shy, but when they walk through the doors, they start developing those friendships, develop uh, those soft skills, and also you can see those grades rocket and go up. And so then you all always see them graduate. And then it's great to see them go off to college and have success. And then you look and see, see them having uh, successful careers. They have someone holding their hand every afternoon, making sure they're doing their homework, asking them questions about their quizzes. That's that academic aspect that you talked about. Yes, that's that academic success that we're striving for every day. And it's great to have those kids bring over report cards and we see a, a be on a roll. And also, uh, it's amazing to see that great conduct that they have on those report cards. You see a real difference in these children. I want you to look into the camera and talk to people, convince them to donate. Why should they give today? Uh, you should give today because we're helping uh, any kid that wants to come into our Boys and Girls Club. Uh, when they come into our Boys and Girls Club, they're invited in with open arms. Uh, we have people there at the club who are called to be there. They're not just to, there to work. They're called to be there. And uh, so we ask that you get these phone lines ringing and make sure that uh, we're helping these kids. It's not a career, it's a calling. I think Rick said that God called him sure to lead <laughs> these clubs. It really is a special connection for all of you. Yes, this is a calling for me too. And uh, 16 years has snuck up on me and uh, <laughs> I have been called to do this and I will continue to do this as long as I'm here. Now don't age yourself, Stanley, <laughs> with the 16 years. <laughs> it's not work when you're doing what you love. No, it's not work. It's, it really don't feel like coming to work. But you're at work and you're making a difference. So you sure are. And you can be part of that difference today. All you have to do is call 613-8283. 613-8283. No donation is too small. Every dollar makes a difference. Every dollar makes a difference. And our volunteers are back there smiling and chatting. They're happy to hear from you. They're happy to hear that you're willing to help this community.